In my first book, SketchUp Guide for Woodworkers, Chapter 5 covers the subject, Learn to Draw Precisely. For practicing this drawing skill, I ask the reader to reproduce the right end component from the Euro European style workbench. In the book, I show the dimensions that provide the reader all information for duplication. It's a challenging beginning exercise and builds fundamental SketchUp skills. In this video, I show another way to recreate the end component based on its relationship to the rest of the workbench. I'll move the existing piece out of its context in the assembly, leaving this big complex gap. Use the line tool for starters and scribe out the top surface of the missing component. Here I will force the movement on the red axis by tapping the right arrow key, then reference off the end of this lower piece for the width of the component. Now that we have a top face, make it a component. I'm calling it working end. To help see inside the space, hide the vice piece. Now we can use the push-pull tool to add thickness down to the lower face of this vice plate. And to finish up the detail on the end, let's hide the vice part and, and we'll use the line tool to add the remaining shape. And again, I'm using, I'm tapping the arrow keys to hold the line direction in, in the blue axis or the green axis or in the red axis. Here the component goes into this, has a tongue that goes into this groove and continues down to the bottom face of the component end. And we'll then draw in this remaining face. It goes to this point, and there it is with a little tongue. And we can use the push pull tool to fill in. fill in the rest of this part of the piece. We'll have to tap the control key to complete that push-pull operation. We can delete this edge, this line. And Use the line tool to scribe out the perimeter of this dado that is in the bottom of the workbench end.
how we can unhide the components so we can add more detail. Turn on X-ray so we can see what we need to do to the other faces of the end piece. There is a groove in the face of the component that accommodates the tongue on the workbench top. Scribe over this shape and use the push-pull tool to lengthen the groove. By the way, uh, there is a setting to help visualize the components while in the X-ray mode. Tap the Window tab and go to Components and run these two slide bars all the way to the right. I maintain this setting in my basic SketchUp template, so this is my permanent default setting. There are a couple holes in the component. Make a line that shows the center of this 3 8 inch bolt. Also, make a line for the center line of the vise screw. To keep these lines on proper direction red axis, tap the right arrow key. Okay, let's see how it looks. And I'll pull a copy over to the original component. Right away we can push out the dado in the bottom face. And we can make the boring for the vise screw, which is one and a quarter inch diameter. I always show the center of the borings so that they show up in the full-size templates and make it easier to show dimensions. In X-ray we can see the center line for the 3 8 inch diameter bolt hole. Also, we can add a recess for the bolt head on the opposite face. Do that later. Here's a, there's a couple things we can do here. We can delete this edge. And I see that I need to show the boring uh, center and also the bolt center. And that completes the recreation of the workbench end.